Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl P, and today I got the one and only sexy Stella Sky in the building. Hi, hello. Good, Glad good. To be on. How are you? Uh, I am doing great. I am feeling fully recovered from travels in Miami for XBiz and back on my grind and loving it. Yeah, thank you. How are you? Good. Glad I find Well, we've had you on the channel before, but now it's a little more personal, so we get to dive deeper today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. Anything you want to know? I guess I'm an open book. Okay, cool. So let's tell let's start by talking who is Stella Sky? Well, Stella Sky, um, I am sort of more in the like fitness kind of niche leaning in there. I end up being in kind of like dance, big booty niche as well. And I do OnlyFans content. Uh, I'm also, you know, of course, marketing across like all the basic big social medias. And um, I'm also, I've started a company with my business partner, Jeff, and we help creators with their digital marketing, building their link pages, building their websites, uh, whatever it might be that can help boost their earnings, get, uh, you know, get a hold of that traffic, and especially collecting emails. So hopefully we'll talk about that more in our webinar series. But yeah, I guess that's the... The basic rundown, uh, I'm sure I missed some things, but oh well. <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you for telling me about the email marketing. So you told me this back in August, and we're working August 2023 to put a timestamp. Mm -hmm. And we've been working on getting all that together, but just collecting the emails has really been helpful for my business. So I just want to say thank you for really pushing that, because at first I'm like, oh, I don't know why this is important. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, right. I think as creators, it's uh, hard for us to really treat our business like a business or treat ourselves as a brand per se. And so, you know, we don't really bat an eye at giving like Nike your email for a discount code. But why wouldn't we, you know, also want to market to people and, and own our email list, be able to directly communicate with your fans or if you are selling a course like you are or you have um you know educational um classes those sorts of things you can reach out to these people send them reminders uh people people really enjoy that as well being able to stay in touch it makes you feel a little bit more real mm -hmm. no I, it definitely helps and it's made me feel a little bit more established like okay well yeah. so let's know about these webinars through the email and the next course coming up so it has been helpful doing it that way so thank you but let's talk about you so what got you into the adult industry uh what got me into the adult industry I first started camming when I was in college and I honestly I feel like I don't even remember how I first heard about it but it was my free cams and I literally just used to stream from my dorm room and that uh, probably, I don't even know how long I ended up doing that, maybe a year or two years and didn't treat it very seriously, but this was like in 2011 and then I didn't do any kind of camming adult work for a long time, but I was open to the idea already. I'd already done that and it wasn't something that I wasn't totally against. And then I was working at a gym and one of my colleagues, he and his wife were going on ch chatterbait. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, I totally, I used to do that. You know, that could be fun, like a little side thing if I did that again. So I started streaming on chatterbait. And from there that developed into making an OnlyFans page. And I ended up migrating over to OnlyFans. It just worked with my schedule better. I think everybody kind of has a preference of platform that they can get a hold of more naturally. And for me, that was OnlyFans. And uh, yeah, so OnlyFans. And now I'm trying to push more with many vids and really expand my library. But it was, uh, I don't even know, it kind of both times I delved in, there were no real aspirations to begin with, but 
the second time around, I've really grown to love it. The people that I've met through working in this industry, I have learned so much and I love learning things. I love sharing what I learn. Um, maybe even more than the adult work itself. I love learning about the industry and how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I think and, when, when you turn out to be a coach, I think that's what it is. It's like, you just want to yeah. share all of this information. It's so yeah. much. Yeah, I'm sure you understand. Like, there's there's just something in, right. and sharing what you learn so other people can also do better. Um, yeah, it's a, a so definitely a passion that I come across again and again that I end up in roles where I'm teaching or coaching um, or at the very least learning as much as I can about a topic. So what got you into the coaching and then uh, co-founding Minx? So with Minx, that was really like this very rare moment where um, I met somebody on Chatterbait that took me private and it's it's such a funny story and he goes you know I just want to talk you can just like put on a sweater or whatever if you're cold but I've had like a tough summer and I want to talk about it and so we ended up talking for a while and like awesome we all love that person where we're getting paid and just for talking yes. like that's like <laughs> the, the, the best customer ever but we ended up talking about marketing because he's been in the marketing industry for the last 16 years. And we ended up talking about how marketing, his expertise in digital marketing could help me with my business online as an adult creator. And so we started applying these principles and he would tell me, you know, let's get you on TikTok, posting regular things on TikTok. It's really important for marketing right now. And sure enough, listening to the things we, you know, built out my domain, uh, email collection fairly or early on, and all of these things really paid off for me. I was able to go viral on TikTok, and that helped uh, really launch me into making my my adult career actually sustainable, where I it, I can rely on it. Um, that it's going to, well, maybe not rely, but at, anything could disappear, but it was more sustainable. And having learned all that, that it worked, I didn't see a lot of this stuff being taught anywhere else uh, or didn't know where to look, but I would go look on Reddit forums and things like that. And I didn't really find what I was looking for. So we wanted to create something to help creators basically share what was working for us, what we discovered, and then also applying these principles like email marketing to the adult industry where we weren't seeing this being applied and we we're going, there's a huge missed opportunity here. Um, so yeah, it was really that it, it worked out. We, we found things that worked and we said, let's team up. I have the adult industry creator side. He has the digital marketing side together. We can, you know, do something great. And then a baby minx was born. A baby minx was born. Yeah, we actually used to joke all the time when we were first. We started with a course, and then we ended up um, discovering that really what we wanted to do was these digital marketing services where we build things and hand them off. But in making the course, we kept joking like, oh, my gosh, it's been nine months. It's time to release the baby, birth the baby. And we have totally, yeah, it's definitely a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so what does what all does minx do so it can be anywhere we're really um flux to what the creators needs are so some creators uh you know just starting out or uh, been doing it for a year or two all i really need is my domain with my link page email collection get that email automation going and, it, and it's something simple and it would be a, a smaller build and what we specialize in is building things for a flat rate and not asking for a percentage of your income. And it could be something as complex as building a full website with different pages. So it depends on the creator's needs. If you have a big website needs, we can, we can build it for you. So it, it's really depending on where you're at in your journey. And we are happy to do a consultation with anyone who wants to know how we can help them. Okay, good. Well, they need to stay tuned for our webinar series. We have Absolutely. 
about the next month. So it'll be ton, tons more information on Minks. But back to Stella. <laughs> so what has been your fav most favorite or memorable experience so far? You know, going to some of these conventions and not the conventions themselves, but the like hotels or wherever it is that we're all staying and the camaraderie and the people that I've met, I call it like summer camp when we're all staying at these hotels, you know, we're coming back at the end of a long day, we're relaxing and, you know, exchanging stories from the day with each other. I love that. Miami that just happened at Expos Miami was my first uh, Expos Miami and that was incredible I cannot wait for next year that was just amazing I loved it so much but yeah I would say meeting people spending time with them at these amazing conventions where it's you, you really get to feel the community it tends to be isolated most of the time so that's that's a great experience I would highly recommend you know, if you're wondering if you should or should not go to one of these adult uh, conventions or expos, go. Yes. And that's something I wish I would have started early on. I felt like, well, I'm not big enough. You know, I shouldn't be at these, but no, that's when you should. That's the best yes. time to network. Yep. You get to meet your peers. You get to be introduced to companies. Yes. Well, and a huge thing too is it's, yeah, the networking is huge. You meet people in real life, you follow each other on Twitter, and then when you meet somebody else, they will see that you, they've, that you have met people that they know, it, and it builds your network. Um, there's definitely, like, I don't know if you notice this, but when you go look at somebody's Twitter profile and it shows who of your mutuals follow them, like that stuff really does show and matter for the adult community of like, okay, you're like legit. Like a lot of these people, we know each other. We're running in the same circle. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome for that. And that's very, 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 very important. The moment I started getting like my peers and these companies follow me, when people see that they're following, they're like, oh, well, they're following Paisley. Let me go ahead and follow her, too. And I just built it up. I'm so thankful for everybody because it's so many of them. Like, oh, they follow me. And then some people, like, I used to watch their porn and stuff. I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, scrolling I mean? through Pornhub becomes a different thing. After you meet a certain number of people, you're like, oh, I know you. I know you. <laughs> oh, I can't watch porn the same <laughs> I have to go to like super amateur where I'm not going to know them because I can't get off to my peers. I don't know. <laughs> they're sexy. Don't get me wrong. Go buy their content. It's it's good. But because it's like they're friends to me, you know? Yeah, it's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so if y'all don't know, some of the expos that you can go to, there's AVNs, there's Expos, they do one in LA, I believe, and the creators one in Miami. Then there's Exoticas four times a year. Um, the Alt there's, Awards just happened. Yeah, 3X. Uh, mm -hmm. They just had the first Sexpo. It's the uh, Australian Expo. And they just had the first one here in Las Vegas recently. I did not go. So I, I'm not sure how it went. Um, yeah. So there's quite a few yeah. to attend. There really are. It's a lot. And I think it's great to go. So I need to go to XBiz. I haven't been to that one yet. I've been, even though I've been nominated three times. But the very first time I did appreciate it because when I was nominated, it was during the pandemic. So it was all virtual. So I oh, still yeah. have the privilege to go meet all the companies and network. And I think just think that's really important. Yes. Yeah. Well, and if you're working for a company, like say you're working for Strip Chat and you go to XBiz Miami, there you know, will be like a Strip Chat booth and you can meet the people that are the executives and uh, people that you can get real contacts with. So if you're having issues um, or you have suggestions or you need help, there you can get real people to reach out to. I think that's great. You get to see which companies come out and support their creators as well. You know, who has a presence, uh, who doesn't. Yeah, you get to see all that. So I think it's, it's really cool. 
Okay, let's see. I was looking at the time. I know we're going to have to wrap this up. To yeah. Webinar, but any last words or where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's Stella Sky. It's it's Stella Sky. I T S Stella Sky. Um, and uh, yeah, or I, I think Twitter is another good way to find me. Stella Sky Six on Twitter, or uh, if you go to, well, that'll really all just take you to OnlyFans. So yeah, I guess go to my Instagram or go to my uh, go to my Twitter. Uh, if you want to find me and you can check out Minx and our offerings on MinxDigital.com, M-I-N-X-X-X digital.com. And we also have a podcast that is for creators where we share tips and advice. We interview people all throughout the industry, including people who work with like copyright takedown, um, including people who are big porn stars, people who are cam stars, um, all different types of walks of life, therapists, um, hypnotherapists, anyone who might be able to share advice for the sex worker community. So you can check out the podcast. It's Money in XXX, and that is everywhere you listen to podcasts, Apple, Spotify, what have you. Um, yeah, so hope hope to see you. Uh, reach out if you want a consultation. We would love to talk to you. Yeah, definitely check them out. And I'll have a little secret promo code in the description. So y'all don't want to miss out on that. She's definitely a great resource and someone you should be following. Yeah. But stay tuned for our webinar series we have coming up. And if you're not in the Telegram group, it's t.me slash mattress actress to come check us out. All right. Thanks yeah. for coming on. Thank you, Paisley. <laughs>